Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm removing this client's old design. I'm using my medium ceramic bit to look for any lifting and to remove that color. So now that I'm done with that medium ceramic bit, I'm taking my round cuticle bit and we're going to remove any cuticle that may be on the nail, help push it back because if you don't remove it properly and do proper prep work, you're going to have lifting. Okay, so now I'm taking my primer and I'm just priming on the natural nail and I'm also going to be taking uh, my base coat and putting a really thin layer and curing that for 60 seconds once I get all those nails done Okay, so now I'm taking my Amore Cache pink warm this client really likes this builder gel on her nails It works well for her. So we're gonna apply that and we're gonna make the apex uh, nice and strong and make that whole nail all even and no ridges or indents and then once I get uh, each one done, I flash cure for five seconds and then I'll be curing all of them for 60 seconds in my combination UV LED light once I get them done. So once all of these cured, I filed and buffed and I used my isopropyl alcohol, removed the dust. Now we're taking my canny gel paint. I'm going to be using two different canny gel paint colors. I'll have those in the description and we'll be using a glitter gel and I'll tell you about that when we get to it. And we'll be doing some stamping as well on these. So I did one coat of this uh, gray, light gray canny color and then I'm going to do two of the nails in that and we'll be curing it for 30 seconds and applying a second coat once I get that on.
so now we're going to be taking a little bit darker gray candy gel paint color and it's a nice little opaque color so we're only going to need one coat and i'm going to do this finger and then we're going to be curing it for 30 seconds So on the middle finger, I'm taking one of my favorite new glitter gels. It's Vetro. This one's called Silver Leaf, and it just needs one coat, and it just applies so nice. It almost reminds me of just applying butter, just nice and smooth, and thin coat is good. And once I get that done, we'll be curing that for 60 seconds. So on the thumb I decided to do the darker gray again. So again, just one coat's gonna be good and we'll be curing that for 30 seconds once I get that done. Okay, so now I'm taking one of my vintage stamping plates, some um, Born Pretty Silver Stamping Polish, and using my Born Pretty Stamper, and I'll have all those links below as well. And I'm gonna put it on that ring finger, that lighter gray, and uh, once I place it on, I'm not gonna re be removing the stamping polish off the skin until after I cover it up with my top coat. I just don't wanna mess up that nice design. So now we're taking my Sculpt and Shine, my Amori Sculpt and Shine, and covering up those nails. And I'll just uh, fill them in till I'm happy with them. I'll flash cure each one for five seconds. And when I get them all done, they'll be curing for 60 seconds in my lamp.
so with the more sculpt and shine it has a sticky inhibition layer so i'm just removing that with some isopropyl alcohol now i'm just going to grab some acetone and just remove that stamping polish around the nail that i stamped and once that's done i'm going to take some of my shine on just to shine them up for pictures and to uh, hydrate those cuticles again well everybody i hope you enjoyed watching this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye